So remind me of the qualifications for somebody to get into the Hall of Fame because last time I heard it, I, it was like whoever, whatever top three boxers get the vote, get in. That seems a bit, uh, I don't know, like not that hard to get in the Hall right, of Fame. It exactly. makes it so easy. Right. Yeah, and they've kind of almost made it easier now. It's So it used to be the top five, no matter who got the vote. So we've really seen a watered-down Boxing Hall of Fame. So then they lowered it to three, which I thought was a good move. So now it's still the top three, but then also if you hit a certain threshold, and I apologize for not having this on, it's either 75 or 80 percent that uh, you have to get that number of votes. So like at the top three, plus like if there's a fourth and a fifth guy that get an overwhelming amount of votes, they'll get voted in as well. And then they drop the eligibility from five years to three years uh, retired. Okay. So I thought I, I didn't like, especially, you know, that rule came before the pandemic, but now it's like we have this influx of fighters that are going to be hitting the Hall of Fame and in 2022. It's just, I, I feel like it's going to be such an overwhelming weekend for that little itty bitty space in Canada. I don't know if you've ever been up there, but. No, I've never been. And I always hated that it's up there. Like uh, all these Hall of Fames are in the middle of nowhere. I've never been to any Hall of Fame, you know, so yeah. I, I don't get why they don't put it in LA or Dallas or New York, <laughs> Miami. Yeah, I, mean, well, I, I can make a trip out of it. You make it in Miami. I go check out the Hall of Fame. Then I go to the yeah. beach. You know, I'm never going to go to Canada. And I live in New York. Right. Yeah, no, it's 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 a it's a hall, man. It's a hall up the New York State Thruway. But it's literally right off the exit. Like, you know, you get to the exit and you see it, it's right off to the right. But it's I mean, that's gonna be a small town, especially for like the huge they got three classes going in this year, you know, because the last two got canceled because of the yeah, pandemic. Yeah. That's something that really should have been spread out. But it was just weird to change it from five years to three years. That almost makes it I mean, now granted, a guy like Floyd Mayweather, he should be able to go into the Hall of Fame, you know, the the moment, you know. When he retired, you know, it's like Michael Jordan should have been in the Hall of Fame right away. It's like they shouldn't have to wait as long as everyone else, but not no, everyone you. meets that criteria. criteria. Yeah, because uh, there's a few guys, and if you want, I, I don't got no hair on my tongue. I could say the names. There's a few guys who are in the Hall of Fame who I'm like, how the fuck this guy get in? Yeah, and that's the hard part, too, because I think a lot of those, like, we saw some of those names, and then they said, well, if this guy's in, now I got to vote for this guy. Cause, yeah, you know, because... Uh, uh, that people getting away from that mentality. Yeah, uh, all right, so... This will be my last question. Cause again, you've been very gracious with your time. Oh, and I, I really, really appreciate you. And I've enjoyed this conversation very much. Same. Um, it, do you think right now is Lomachenko a Hall of Famer? If no, no? I would not vote for him right now. I really? think you know I, he's had an extraordinary run to you know to where he's got to. But I mean, yeah, he's a three division titleist. But you know, how many times has he beaten the top guy in his division? You know, I mean, there's a lot of like now. Look, I, I'm going to be probably very alone in this conversation. Like, I wouldn't vote Gennady Golovkin in right now. Ooh, so, I mean, the thing, the thing is, the thing is with Gennady Golovkin, a lot of people like to go off. Of, he doesn't have the wins, but if we remember, Sergio Martinez ducked him. Uh, Miguel Cotto vacated against him. Uh, even, even although Canelo ended up fighting him, Canelo also vacated against him. Right. There was a lot of ducking going on in his when in his uh, in his prime. And then the guys who would step out, he was blasting them away. And then yep. you add on top of the fact he was a silver a silver medalist. Yep. I, I, I think you can't really tell the full story of boxing without uh, Triple G. Because I also think Triple G beat beat Canelo twice. Right. I'm, I'm on that. Case. Okay, wow. Okay. Yeah, I think he won both. I so weirdly, won. I'm one of the few who agreed with the decision in both fights. But I disclaim that with, if you put a gun to my head and I had to pick a winner, Gennady Golovkin should have won the first fight. Yeah. But I actually didn't disagree. I, I kind of scored it like, okay, this is how the judges are going to score it. And that's how I, I'm like, okay, that within surprise me that Canelo won the second fight. But yeah, like I said, I, I know I, I knew I'd be alone in saying, you know, I don't, I wouldn't vote Gennady. I would like to see Gennady get one more win. You know, then, you know I agree. Win. I agree. It does. His legacy doesn't seem incomplete because what his biggest win is Daniel Jacobs, who's a, a legit fighter, legit yeah. fighter. But, you know, it's, he's not a world beater, Daniel Jacobs. So I do agree. I do. I would like to see a win over Andre or Charlo or yeah. who knows, move up to 168 and fight a Caleb Plan or David Benavidez. Uh, so you know, but uh, I see your point. But get, getting back to the Lomachenko uh, argument, mm -hmm. uh, the guy was a two-time gold medalist. Yeah. You know, that's very significant. I, I count like a lot of people. Oh, I don't count amateurs. I don't they count should. amateurs. Of, it is a problem. Yeah. I don't count amateurs with the exception of your Olympic performance. Right. That, that's how I look at it. And the guy was two-time gold medalist. Yeah. Then he he fights 
he wins a world title in his third pro fight against Gary Russell Jr., who's still a champion now. Yeah, I was going to say, that win aged remarkably. Yep. Yeah, and then he's the quickest to be a three-division world champion, held three out of the four belts in the lightweight division. Right. I, I find it hard to keep him out of the, 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 the Hall of Fame, to be honest with you. I, I'm going to say this. He will be in. Unless his career completely collapses by his next fight, he will get into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, but, so, so you think... You, and so in your to be fair like, uh, i want to make sure i got your argument right you don't think he's a hall of famer now but you think eventually he'll get the wins to earn to be in the hall of fame if he retired right now then i would say well you know his no yeah i, I wouldn't no. right but now. you but think yes. but you think he's gonna get the wins requisite Absolutely. to get in all right Absolutely. yeah but i'm also a guy too that like i was never on board with you know Vasily lomachenko's pound for pound the best in the world you know no questions yeah like i never understood why even top rank was making that argument while Terrence Crawford was on the contract. And I granted, I know they kept flipping back and forth. Okay, well, Machenko's pound for pound this week. Terrence Crawford's pound for pound just because he's fighting. But Terrence Crawford was the better of the two fighters. No, I, I totally agree. And even when they were trying to make the fight with Lomachenko and Mikey Garcia, I thought Mikey Garcia was a better fighter pound for pound. And I thought he would have beat Lomachenko. I agree. Yeah, I hated that that fight didn't happen. Like, really. Yeah, that, that's, that, that, that fight and, and Juanma versus Gamboa not happening. <laughs> those two, you ever want to make me cry? Just DM yeah. me that those fights didn't get made. Yeah, and you'll be successful. Great. Yeah, Juanma's got a different fight ahead of him now. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs>